running. Oh, maybe. No scar. Not even a mark? Maybe it wasn't that bad? <sighs> Say, Junpei, what do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathe, I guess? You know, I can't say I've ever thought about it. How about you, Chidori? Is that how you feel when you draw? I don't know. Most of these are just scribbles. I don't really understand myself. Oh. Huh. Hmm. To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. It's when I sort of, uh, get to play the hero, I guess. In the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the Chosen Ones stand against the forces of evil. Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. <sighs> um, this is the part where you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? <laughs> hey, I, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one is aware of, right? That means no one knows what you've been doing. So you're fighting even though you'll never get any recognition for anything. I'm impressed. I guess I misjudged you. Uh, really? I didn't think you'd actually believe me. Can you tell me more? You know, you're kind of the weird one here. Hmm. I guess it's okay. But you're sworn to secrecy. Got it? Mm hmm. So, there's this special power called a persona. And that's what we use to defeat the monsters. But not everyone can use a persona. That's what I meant by the chosen ones. My friends are fighting too. And, not to brag, but we haven't lost a single fight since I joined. Sounds like a lot of fun. If you haven't lost a single fight, that must mean you're really strong. Yeah, sort of. I guess you could kind of say I'm the leader. I mean, without me, things would just fall apart. I gotta tell everyone what to do and stuff, you know? It's a lot of work being in charge. Thank you, Junpei. I had a lot of fun today. You did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? <laughs> see you tomorrow, huh? Yes!
I'm sorry. not so good. I can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. Sorry. You're missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? Still, I'm really sorry. Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing. Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. Where do I even start? It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. I don't think there's enough time for me to recover by then, but that's okay. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not gonna change. But for now, I'm not gonna worry about winning races. I'm gonna focus on winning back my health instead. <laughs> well, I can't exactly force myself to heal, you know? Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, Thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Chariot Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Chariot within themselves.
I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me. I see you're back. this at the store when I said I was looking for a movie with a cool, hard-boiled main character. But so far, he just seems like a reckless old man to me. He even fell for that woman's lies. Do people really think this guy is cool? Oh, that's right. We are only halfway through the movie. <gasps> He's surrounded by gangsters again! He was so cool! He actually knew it was a lie the whole time, and he was just pretending to be tricked. His signature phrase was so good, too. You can't be a detective without smarts, and you've got no right being a detective without a heart. movie is part of a series! Let's watch the other ones together when you have time. 